<clears throat> Wikipedia. Years ago, when everybody was saying, "Ah, it's not not a real source," I was even saying that that it's not a not a valid source. It, it's not it generally reliable, right? Uh, but uh, you should really go to um, <clears throat> the actual primary sources, right? Like, look at those links. Where are they getting that stuff from? But generally, it was a pretty good tool, right? It was not biased, right? I mean, there was that one thing about uh, Stephen Colbert and elephants when this is when um, The Daily Show and The Colbert Report were um, center left and not wildly leftist. I don't even know if The Colbert, Colbert Report is not on anymore. And The Daily Show. Um, went to shit long before uh, Trevor Noah got a hold of it. Um, but uh, Wikipedia was good. Was a decent, I mean, you could you could get, um, it, it, you didn't really see a lot of partisan stuff in there, and it would, it would address controversies and things like that, you know. Um, you know, I'd say this is kind of disputed or that, or where's my lighter? But here's not, I've been noticing a lot of nonsense on Wikipedia lately. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Tommy Robinson. I mean, I, I'm, I dig what he stands for and a lot of the stuff that he says. But he's an ass. He's an ass, um, um, and he's a, uh, he provokes things. Good for him, he should. <clears throat> I'm all for him. Um, I'd probably buy him a beer, get a drink with him, but I don't think we'd be the best of friends. Um, so, looking at his stuff and Ezra Levant's stuff, again, Ezra Levant, I like a lot of the stuff that he says, don't agree with him 100%. Probably agree with Ezra Levant more than I agree with Prager U. But then again, I shouldn't have to say that about everybody. I mean, hell, I don't agree with a lot of stuff. Most stuff Ann Coulter says, I like Dinesh D'Souza better. So I'm in that kind of right circle thing, you know. Um, even though when I started on YouTube, it was far left. Not far left. What's considered left today is bullshit. It's not even left wing. It's Nazi racist bullshit. Uh, it, it doesn't care about the unity of workers. It just wants to divide people with up into tribalistic groups, gay, straight, black, white, Hispanic, uh, bullshit, you know, Muslim, non-Muslim, all that shit. That's what the left likes to do now. So... <clears throat> I was look. I, I was following Jada Franson and what happened with her with Britain first. Kind of dig what they do on uh, Wikipedia, right? Oh, you can't see it, can you? Ah, Britain first. <clears throat> Britain first is a British fascist political organization. Formed in 2011 by former members of the British National Party, a part of the far right, a group founded by Jim Dawson, an anti-abortion and far right campaigner. <clears throat> I didn't know being against abortion was a far right issue, but oh well. Um, the organization's leader is former BNP. Uh, counselor Paul Golding and its deputy leader is Jada Franson. Ideology British fascism, ultra nationalism, British unionism, Euroscepticism, anti Islam. Now, <clears throat> I don't like Britain first because um, its founding members are Ulster Protestants, 
and they're they have connections to um the uda and um or ex uda members and uh uvf and the protestant death squads of northern ireland so i don't like uh that section of it, right i i would never be a part of britain first because i still like republican Sinn Féin. uh <clears throat> again and it, it's kind of funny that eh, whatever uh so i would be a leftist basically in the eyes of Britain, I don't know. But again, what's called the left today is not left wing at all. It's just Nazism, basically. But how the hell is Britain first fascist? Let's use uh, dictionary definitions, right? Let's let's actually not even dictionary. Let's just use definitions, right? Because you hear chauvinist and all. Yet, ask somebody what a chauvinist is. Well, it's a uh, it's a type of. Um, bone that floats in the clouds with purple smoke and the, they no they, they don't know they don't even know who chauvin was basically based on a guy who would dress up in his military medals and sit at the park to mars british fascist okay what is fascism fascism a form of radical authoritarian ultranationalism Characterized by dictatorial power, forcible suspension, susp suspension of opposition, and a strong regimentation in society, blah, blah, blah. Um, came to prominence in the early 20th century. Um, opposed to liberalism, Marxism, and anarchism, fascism is placed on the far right within traditional left-right spectrum. Bullshit. Bullshit. Wikipedia, for over a decade, said that, correctly said that fascism has elements of both right and left wing. Um, and it goes on to talk about imperialism. How can you be a nationalist and an imperialist? Neither organized socialism nor Italian liberal championed the democratic demands of the left nationalist. Fascists, fascism stepped into the vacuum, constituting itself as anti-socialist, anti-liberal civil society movement. Fuck off. That is nonsense. Fascism is left-wing nationalism. It is socialism. There is international socialism, international socialism, right? Which is this. There is national socialism, which is what basically people are using for fascism. Um, instead of destroying their culture and wiping out all culture and traditions, it's exalting the base culture of the people of, you know, the culture, language, it's not really for religion. It's more of the traditionalist uh, school, not as in when I call myself a traditionalist, but it's it's the traditionalist school of uh, Guaran. Guer, Guer not, I, it's some French name, G-U-E-N-O-N, -E I think. Guernan. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it, it is it's left wing. It has elements of right wing in there, but it's not it's not for the church, it's not pro church. So how it's 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 only for the um, a king only in a figurehead power. It's progressivism. Right? Um, 
heavy emphasis on back to nature, like the paganism type shit, like that Mussolini embraced and the Nazis embraced. Um, it's progressivism. It's eugenics. It's abortion. It's um, it's the Green Movement that came directly out of fascism. Anti-smoking laws, mor um, morality prohibitions like um, you know tobacco, uh, strong drink, prostitution, um, all things that I think should be be legal. By the way, even drugs. Um, I agree with Thomas Aquinas on that, that prostitution should be legal because uh, I believe in the sacred and the profane, not a Protestant. Nationalism, totalitarianism, economy. I mean, what is the economy of fascism? Fascism presents itself as a third, as a third position, alternative both to both international socialism very said and free market capitalism while fascism is opposed to mainstream socialism it sometimes regards itself as a national nationalist socialism to highlight um the commitment to national solidarity and unity fascists oppose an international free market capitalism but supported a type of productive capitalism economic self-sufficiency known i mean what what is this nonsense no it's fucking socialism it does not believe in the free market it's left now to a communist everything is right wing everything is right of communism right just like to a hammer everything looks like a fucking nail um Let's not forget that fascism rose up to attack the communists, right? It was it accepted the majority of what the communists were saying, all the principles, dialectical materialism, everything, but to retain things like family and basic things of culture, you know, you can't take away all our freedoms just like communists do, but just let us have the life that we're currently living, right? As if communism doesn't militarize the shit out of everything. Um, I mean, it's for the revolution. Look at this. See this? That's the that's that's the flag of the flanque. They use words like comrade and cadre, and uh they use black and red they're from the same freaking strain check out the spanish civil war what what colors did uh did fascist italy use they were big in black and red they, they kind of had their old flag under victory of victory manual but it was mainly the fosse i mean good god so Tell me how I mean I I would I I don't like the I don't like Britain first or the UDA or any of that shit. But how is Britain first a British fascist political organization? Anti Islam Euroscepticism British Unionism ultranationalism, and then British fascism at the top. Now, all the things I just listed before I said British fascism are diametrically opposed to fascism. Political position, far right. How is British unionism far right? Wikipedia has gone off the damn rails. I also had looked up something else. I mean, I mean, I could go on and on like thing, like definitions of Nazis and and just a lot of the political stuff. It's almost like they're almost trying to say like, oh, if anything's a democratic republic or a constitutional republic, that's left wing. 
Nobody even knows what right wing means anymore, or fascism, or nationalism. It's like uh, I I literally shake for the future because of the, the we're going towards 1984. It's like everything's going down the damn memory hole. 